Hey, retired granny here. Just got out of the shower and come downstairs to refresh my coffee and nobody's here. Your dad took Lucy for a walk and um, the baby was being a little cranky, but this morning, so maybe Sophia took him out for a little drive. Sometimes she just puts him in the car, takes him for a drive and um, that's how he gets his naps in on some days. I'll know that Isaiah is deployed. <laughs> it's been gone. Since um, about September with uh, pre-deployment training and stuff. And uh, Sophia and um, my daughter-in-law, Sophia, and the baby live with us. And we watch the baby while she's in nursing school. So I just thought I'd take you along today on uh, my, one of my days where I'm watching the baby so that you can see what retired granny is up to on any given day. <laughs> today it's going to be a little bit busier than some days because I have to go out for a dentist appointment. And I'm getting ready to do that now. So I've already showered. I'm already drinking my coffee, I'm getting ready to make my bed, comb my hair, put on maybe a little bit of makeup, and um, get ready to go to my dentist appointment. Okay, so I'm on my way to my dentist office. Let's hope I'm as happy coming back as I am going. <laughs> I just don't want any bad news. I don't want to know that I have to have a tooth pulled. I don't want to know that I have to have a root canal. I don't want to know that my gums are breaking down, just, you know, whatever. I just, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to hear any of that negativity stuff. I just want to get my teeth clean and come out with my goodie bag. And he always, this dentist always gives a good goodie bag, not just to the kids, you know. The kids would come out of there with a bag busted with all kinds of stuff. And um, I come out of there with my bags busted too. <laughs> and I want to get a good goodie bag with a good report from Dr. Swade. I've had this dentist, you know, my whole adult life. He knows my teeth like the back of his hand. So I know that I can trust him. If he tells me that something needs to be done, then it'll need to be done. There's a lot of traffic out here today. So I'm about, about 30 minutes away from getting there. And uh, it's a beautiful day. I mean, you know, the sun is shining. It's 38 degrees. I am now in Toledo. And um, it's a beautiful day. Tomorrow we got snow in the forecast. Tomorrow we'll handle tomorrow. Okay, so it was not pretty in there <laughs> by any means. Lord have mercy. First of all, I had not been to the dentist in two years. I thought it was like more like a year. And, um, you know, that just goes to show you how time flies. You don't even realize it. The good news is that I don't need a root canal. <laughs> um, I'm not losing the enamel on my teeth and I don't have to worry about that. No, I mean, when you wait two years to go to the dentist just for a cleaning, you know, you're going to be in discomfort. Now, the worst part of it for me is always, and I imagine for, you know, most people, is always right behind these bottom teeth because that's where the uh, saliva collects. So that's where I always have the most plaque buildup. But once he gets beyond that, I mean, the rest is just, you know, it's a breeze compared to that. He highly, he highly, highly advised me to get a water pick. And he has highly advised me to get a water pick in the past. And I have got a water pick, but I was just not. I was just very, very lazy about using it and I ended up even giving it away. So now he wants me to get one and he recommended that I get one today. <laughs> today, that ain't gonna happen today. But I mean, that's just how much he 
recommends using a water pick. He said that if we only use the water pick at nighttime, even before we, you know, even if it was just once at, you know, at nighttime before we went to bed, what a big difference and a big help that would make. So, you know, I'm going to take him up on that, especially now that I'm older. You know, I really need to start taking better care of my teeth, even better than what I already do. As far as the tooth sensitivity, he explained to me that I'm not losing my enamel on my teeth, that as we get older and our bones, our bones in our mouth start to break down, the gums start to pull away from the teeth right there at at the at the bone and it it exposes your teeth that are not covered with enamel so he recommended that i use a sensodyne um, toothpaste during the times that i'm having the sensitivity because the sensitivity is not constant it's something that comes and goes so he recommended using the toothpaste during those times and then putting it away i'm not having that sensitivity because i did tell him that it wasn't a constant thing it was you know periodic something that just comes and goes do not wait two years to go to the dentist especially if you have insurance So can we just talk a minute about the price of chips and how much chips have gone up? Today, I'm buying the chips. So look at regular $6.49, $4.99. Yep, that's it. I'm buying the chips today. So I'm thinking that uh, given the snowstorm that we're supposed to have tomorrow, that a uh, frozen pizza and ravioli kind of day it's gonna be so we just gotta eat you know you know what i mean that's tomorrow's dinner right there so including today's dinner your dad has cooked like six days in a row and um tomorrow i have to cook but then saturday uh, we're going to the quinceanera and I don't have to cook dinner. So I just needed something for one day. And you know, I may as well just make it easy on myself since I don't know, I feel like I'm, uh, like, I feel like I'm under the gun. And the ice cream, I'm buying the ice cream too. Five carbs. And now I'm on my way home and it's one o'clock in the afternoon. But I just wanted to touch on something, uh, you know, since I was showing those few things that I bought at the grocery store. Um, because I am a diabetic, okay? I uh, take diabetes medicine and I have always, I have fought it, okay? I, I fought the realization of being a diabetic until I just couldn't be in denial anymore okay so I started taking medication but I know that diabetes is a progressive thing so I didn't want to take <coughs> a bunch of medication and then just eat any old thing that I wanted to to and because that would just lead to then you know my diabetes progressing and, and needing more medication so I've always tried to take the least amount of medication that I could get away with and try to watch what I eat as well as try to be active. When I was working, that wasn't an issue because we were working six days a week, 10 hour days. And I think um, that helped keep my A1C somewhat down. I never had, you know, problems with my a A1C until just this last time that I had blood work done, it was like 7.4. It had gone up 10 points from the last time. It's, it was 6.4. So I know that the diabetes is not under control and I, I can blame it on the holidays all I want to. But the truth of the matter is, is that I don't eat like I'm supposed to. And um, 
my cholesterol numbers were high. I have high cholesterol, um, diabetes. I have high blood pressure, um, carotid artery disease. I don't know, am I missing something? The doctor want, wanted me to lower my sodium intake. So she put me on like 1200 milligrams of sodium, which isn't much. Anything that tastes good, anybody knows that anything that tastes good is gonna be high in sodium. So I, I blame it on the chips, okay? I keep eating chips and I love potato chips, but they are so high in sodium, you know, just salt. So. I didn't buy chips for a long time, but I feel like I have to reward myself, you know, on occasion. I have to have the things that I want, you know, because I mean, you only live once, right? So I bought the chips and, and I was talking about the ice cream. I was showing the ice cream bars that I bought because my dietitian has me on uh, 45 to 60 and that's, on the high side of carbs per meal uh, breakfast lunch and dinner and since I'm a night person there's a lot of days that I don't get breakfast so in lieu of breakfast she gave me two extra snacks and the snacks are to be no more than 15 carbs per snack Okay, because we need carbs. We cannot eliminate carbs from our diet. We, our, our, our brain needs carbs to function, okay? So they're not eliminating carbs. If, if you're a diabetic, you can't just eliminate carbs from your total diet. Um, but there's a way to balance things out so that the carbs don't spike your glucose, you know, you're not shocking your system, you know, with all these carbs and then you get these glucose and it makes everything work harder, you know, because of, of bad eating habits. So those ice cream bars are only five carbs. So I could have one with no issue is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and I just, I don't know why I came into this big old discussion about my health but it's just because you know I mean I got a little bit of time I'm in the car it may or may not make it to uh, the video that I'm doing today on uh, you know just a day in the life of a uh, of, of retired granny <laughs> so now um, I'll get home and I'll put my groceries away and the little baby will be at my feet because as soon as I come in he's always right there you know wanting me to pick him up unless by some chance, uh, Sophia laid him down before she left and he's, you know, taking a nap. So we'll see. But most of the time when, you know, when I'm home, my my time is totally devoted to him because you know, he's he's a year old now. He's uh, mobile. He's, um, you can't keep your, you can't take your eyes off of him for nothing because he's putting stuff in his mouth and he um, is tall and he has a, a long reach. So he's constantly reaching for stuff that he shouldn't be. And he, he wants to be putting even shoes in his mouth. Just uh, your dad's shoes, he wants to be putting them in his mouth. That your dad walks with Lucy, you know, and they're, they're terrible, you know, and he wants to put the dustpan in his mouth and he's a door licker and a floor licker and you just you just always got to be watching out for this little rascal i call him my little rascal okay so i'm almost home. did i mention asthma yeah i have asthma and i'm allergic to dust and mold and the other day when i was walking out in the park and i was doing some nice little video and taking some nice pictures of a beautiful day that i spent walking with your dad I uh, went home that night and had an anaphylaxis episode in the middle of the night. And so, um, yeah, then there's that. One thing, while I still have a couple minutes, he had a TIA. Um, some people refer to it as a mini stroke. Um, I was put on a really high cholesterol med, like 80 milligrams. And I was put on 75 milligrams of a um, blood thinner. So um, the the um, high cholesterol med, my 
doctor was thinking was causing my liver enzymes to be really high. So she cut the cholesterol meds in half. Um, so I was taking 40 milligrams of cholesterol meds and it seemed to be okay, but this last time that I, um, this last time that I got my blood work done, my cholesterol was 209 and um, it was in the red. So I don't know what's going on with my liver. Like I told your dad, I did not quit drinking almost 30 years ago to have my liver go bad on me anyway. So I'm sure that I'll be um, finding out more about that in the coming days because she right away, my doctor, Alice, which she's an awesome doctor, I love her to death, right away she sent me to get an uh, ultrasound done on my liver and my um, pancreas and my gallbladder. Right. So your dad just laid Mr. Baby down for a nap and I put the groceries away and now I'm gonna get Lucy so she can come in and eat. We have to do these things and uh, in uh, stages. Here's my little girl. She got groomed yesterday. She looks real nice and white right now. Good girl, Lucy. Goosey, goosey. What happened, huh? You didn't want to take a nap? Huh? What happened? You didn't want to take a nap? Huh? What happened, little baby? What happened, little baby? Huh? You didn't want to take a nap? You didn't want to take a nap? What happened? You want to go down, Lucy? You feel like it? You didn't feel like it taking a nap? You didn't feel like taking a little nap? What you doing, my little baby? What you doing, my little baby? What you doing, my little me at school? What you doing, my little me at school? Give it up. Lucy, where are you going with my sock? Lucy, where are you think you're going with my sock? You're gonna have to get him and I'll get her. Come here, buddy. She got my sock in her mouth. She's got my whole sock in my in her mouth. Here, Lucy. Come here. Go downstairs and watch the TV, big boy. Sit. Yeah. Sit. <laughs> so you take my sock and then get rewarded for it, right? Where'd the other one go? You take my sock and get rewarded. The least you can do is sit. Sit. Where are you going? Downstairs? Sit. Sit. You just sit. All right, let's see. There's a biscuit. There you go. She's done eating. She's going back out. In the back 40. This little grabby bitty. <laughs> Don't want to take a nap, apparently. Huh? What happened? What happened my little beast? Don't want to take a nap. What happened with my little baby? Don't want to take a nap. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. It might do be called boom, boom, boom. <laughs> All right, so it's still early. We can lay him down. Or a nap, probably by two o'clock. Huh? By two o'clock, you couldn't need a nap. Oh, yeah. Can we paint it? Nice. It's like a red clay. Cool. And, and it matches because we've got a lot of earth tone. Yeah. Vibes going. And the natural wood floors. Exactly. So I'll show you guys from the front how it looks. Very cool. Gillian. You painted the front? Oh, the door. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, the front of the door. Nice. Wow. Gillian? Wow. Nice. It was our first time painting, so, you know, we did our best. Yeah. Like, look, it's like, oh, I walk in and we got the nice earth home vibe. Yeah. Wow, what a project that must have been. It was, it was. It's not easy to paint. No, painting is not easy. <laughs> me, me and Jazz were talking about how you do like a lot of the painting. Yeah. I'm like, man, I'm like, man she does all the taping and all that stuff herself. And yeah. It's a project. Yeah. yeah, good job. Looks nice. Yeah. 
We are nice. Jazz said that it's going to take us three hours to do it. Uh, it took us all day. <laughs> I believe that, yeah. <laughs> That's a job. <laughs> what a rude we awakening that like, was. We got started around 3, 3.30. So <laughs> well, it was a nice day project. It was. It was. Nice it was. night project. Yeah, yeah. Is that Retired Granny? Yeah, I'm doing a video today for Retired Granny to show a day in the life of Retired Granny. So you just happen to be be in it. FaceTiming with sun. Yeah. Good. yeah, that's always a plus. Just got the baby down for a nap. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> so that's what we did. All right. So the little baby doesn't want to go to sleep. Let's get him out. 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 What happened, huh? You don't want to take a nap today, huh? You don't want to take a little nap today? You don't want to take a nap today? You don't have to. Yeah. You do that. I got you. Boom, boom, boom. I got you, boom, boom, boom. No nap today, I guess. I guess he's not going to take a nap. <laughs> no nap today, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going, little riot squirrel? You want to take your temperature? Huh? You want to take your temperature? Huh? <laughs> it's got the thermometer. Yeah, you want to go in and take your temperature? <laughs> oh, no, it's normal. It's normal. <laughs> little tiptoe walker. He's been walking on his tiptoes a little bit here and there. Don't walking on your tiptoes, huh? We don't walking on your little tippy, tippy, tippy toes. Good I know he's supposed to be taking a nap. I'm running out of time, huh? You want to play in your bedroom? You don't want to take a nap in here, that's for sure. You want to just play in here? That's for trimming your nails. You don't like it and you don't put it in your mouth, okay? Don't put it in your mouth. Don't do it. Feed him. Feed the little baby. Some bologna. You almost ate the whole thing. And some cheese and crackers. And right now he's eating a little bit of cupcake. He's almost got the whole cupcake on. I gotta watch him, make sure he doesn't take a big, well, huge bite. <laughs> Good job, little baby. More cheese, there's one little piece of cheese there. Oh, spitting that out. <coughs> oh, you need a drink? You need a drink? Here's what's left of his cupcake. I ain't the other half. Yeah, they did shoot Reagan. Mm. This is a good cupcake. <laughs> one little bite. Yep, one little bite. Oh, that's my finger. <laughs> <laughs> that was my finger! That was my finger! <laughs> so I was going to buy a new garbage can last night at Costco for this reason. 
And I think you pissed your fingers in there this morning, if I'm not mistaken. But um, Costco's garbage cans were $80. I'm not ready to pay $80 for a garbage can. But we do need one because he's a little garbage picker. You're a little garbage picker. Yeah, you are. You're a little garbage picker. Um, where you going, boom, boom, boom? Where you going, boom, boom, boom? Grandpa's going to open that door, and then you're going to be surprised when he comes pushing his way through you. Boom, boom, boom. Right there on the floor looks like some uh, smear. <laughs> What in the world happened there? Huh? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Did you do that? Did you do that? Are you the culprit? Because I don't know who else would have done that. I'm going to need to get her a mop out now. Either that or just need to, um, to, uh, well, I'll show you. Just for a quickie, quickie, quickie little job. It's just going to get this washcloth wet, put a little tiny bit of soap there, and then for the purpose of just cleaning this floor, because I don't really know what's on it, we're just going to do this real quick. Yeah, who did this? What happened here, huh? What happened here, huh? I just mopped these floors just like two nights ago. So, I don't know what happened, but it looks like uh, that's as far as my foot can reach. Look at, look at, there's hair underneath those chairs from Lucy. And I do go through and clean underneath the legs of the chairs and the tables periodically, but uh, it's so hard to keep up with everything. I think he's ready now for a nap. He's got a clean diaper. It was a poopy butt. Hey, poopy butt. Hey, little booby butt. You gotta pull your pants back on. <laughs> Maybe that's why he couldn't sleep, because his socks, his feet were hot. So let's pull your socks off, put your pants on, and see if you're ready for a nap yet. It's 2.30. You're running out of time to take a nap. You're running out of time. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> You better not. <laughs> I just changed him. You better not be doing it again. Hmm? Tiptoe walker, tiptoe walker, tiptoe walker. Yeah. Um, Let's go. What's that? What's that? Actually, I know. <laughs> to be able to feel my teeth <laughs> again. Watch. No, I got a small cavity. Trying to see what Grandpa's doing? What's he doing? Cleaning yeah, out his yeah, coffee. Yeah. Yes, this is. Buddy, Kale's out here. Look at Kale. 
got another poopy diaper we need to change and got a new outfit we need to put on and then another attempt at a nap. Oh, it's 2.45. Running out of time. We're running out of time. Lucy's out there in the big 40. Here she is. Hey, what does this little kitty cat want? Huh? What does that little kitty cat want? Girl, what the hell was Kale doing? <laughs> kitty cat. Yeah. What does she want? She said, let me in. Kill me what? I let her in one time and she couldn't wait to get back out. She was crying, crying, crying to find her way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah, silly. Yeah. yeah, she's silly. Silly little kid. Come on. Come on. Come on, little kid. Oh, you're not going out. Uh, watch, watch. Here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> All right. You lost your chance. <laughs> too hesitant. She waited too long. Yeah. Silly cat. This is attempt number. Oh, I lost track. I lost track. Four, five, maybe. Fresh bottle. Fresh diaper. Fresh clothes, and here we go. We'll try it again. Essie sleeps in a sleep sack. So here's the sleep sack. We're gonna attempt to put him in. I left his socks off, thinking maybe his feet were too hot. If his feet are too hot, then he can't breathe. He's going in the bed. We'll see what happens. You don't want to take a nap? Hmm? You don't want to take a nap today? Hmm? And what you want to do, you drank all your milk. It's all gone. All gone. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. We're downstairs now. Because down here, it doesn't take as much work as it does upstairs. Got the whole area down here. We're gonna listen to Miss Rachel for a little bit. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Things aren't gonna change. In your cocoon.
that way. So So I laid the baby down for a nap because he's being crabby patty. <laughs> I thought I would try one last time. But it's four o'clock now, so if he doesn't take a nap now, then that's it. He's done. He's done trying to take a nap. And there's Lucy. Lucy's been out here in the back 40 um, for quite a while since I got home, actually. I've been out here after she ate. She always comes alive when she sees me coming. Then all of a sudden, she wants to run around and she wants to chase her frisbee. And it's like she's waited all this time for me. Now she wants to show me what she can do. She's been out here just laying around this whole entire time. I watch her from the kitchen. Now all of a sudden, she wants to play. She's been waiting for me. Look at her go! Look at her go! Go, Lucy! Oh, it's windy out here. Tomorrow we got a snowstorm coming. Temperature's starting to drop. I can feel it. What you got, this? What you got, Lucy? Goosey, goosey! Huh? What do you got, Lucy? Huh? What do you got, Lucy? She's had it for a long time. It is indestructible. I highly recommend. If you want to do it, you want to get a frisbee for me today. Floppy and white. I don't know how long she's going to last like that, but for now, she is. Lucy, what are you doing, Lucy? Lucy. What you got, girl? Good girl, Lizzie. Good girl. <laughs> done now? You done? All right. Good girl, Lizzie. Good girl. For an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, an hour and ten minutes. You got some milk on your mouth. Seven o'clock. You get your bed. Then you go back to bed. <laughs> Two hours. That's all you got to do. Ah. Uh. 
um, excuse me, excuse me, um, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, what do you think you're doing with that? Hmm? Thank you, thank you, thank you, my little baby. I'm just gonna put it up here, okay? I'm gonna put it up there, okay? Good job. Oh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me, Krabby Patty. Hey, Krabby Patty. Oh, hey, little Krabby Patty. No, mine is going to be cloudy and has ID in it. Show me I can see it from here. It's the one on my right. Yeah, that's it. And if you pick it up and just smell it, you'll be able to tell. This one over here has been here since this morning. I'm assuming that's <laughs> Sophia's. <laughs> Do the bird. <laughs> Do the bird. Just like the guy in the video. <laughs> <laughs> did he get wet? Yeah, I'm sure he did. His pants did, yep. It's okay. <laughs> he was backing up. What happened? Huh? What happened? Now we gotta change your pants. Let's go change your pants. Hey, I have a toilet now, little buddy. It's time to go to work. Cassie is. Come here so I can change your britches. That's hot, little buddy. Cassie is. Come here so I can change your diaper. There you go. Come here, little buddy. Come here. Come here, little buddy. Ready? You gonna go over there and get your britches changed? Do you? Come on, Crazy. I don't want you to mess with Come on, little Crazy. Come on, little Crazy. Bird, 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 say the bird is the word. Bird, 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 say the bird is the word. You're not flapping your wings. Why do you want to be the hot? Hot oven. It's a hot oven. Pick him up and bring him over here. It's a hot oven, little buddy. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, for goodness sakes.
that's enough of that. Quack, quack, quack. Rot rail. Rot rail. Shall I turn the back on? Huh? What happened? You turned it off. <coughs> you turned it off. You don't want to go up? Hmm? Change your mind? Are you changing your mind? Change your mind? A little while. Are you trying to dance your way back down here? Baby Beluga. Oh, baby Beluga. I got you, I got you. I got you. No, I got you. I'm gonna get the gate. Yeah, right. Yeah, I gotta get the gate again. Let's get the gate again. Let's put you in your high chair so you can eat, huh? Yeah, right. All right. Too many things down here. Mama's on her way home. We're getting a bath ready. Uh, All right, so we're getting a bath ready. And Sophia just called. She's on her way home. She's cracking my phone. Uh, don't throw that in there. Woo. That was close. Almost threw that in there. <laughs> we, need, we need locks on these cabinets. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's go get this boy ready for a bath. It is uh, almost seven o'clock. Oh, you got bacon cheese. <laughs> you got bacon cheese. My turn to relax till Lucy starts with wanting to go in and out, in and out, in and out, which she will. I'll bring her in and I'll try to go to bed early. By uh, early, I mean 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. And Lucy always comes and gets me up. It could be 12, 1, 2, Whenever she senses that I've gone to bed, she comes right up, wakes me up, and has to go out one last time. It don't matter. Going downstairs, pick my feet up, and relax. <laughs>